Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer of the Muni, and I am here on the PNC Pavilion with Stephen Buntrock and Aaron Dilley, who, a moment of history, I think this is the first couple interview I've done. Outstanding. Wow. Congratulations. It's a, a premiere. Can we get a break <laughs> for that? Yes, Can we yes, get, break? yes. Okay. get him a break. Great. <laughs> uh, and you two are here uh, playing Mr. and Mrs. Banks and Mary Poppins, which I am thrilled at. Um, let's share the story. Stephen was here last season in... Um, Millie. Totally Modern Millie. Mm -hmm. And we had a flyby <laughs> backstage. Remember that? Remember yes, that? I know. We're walking by. And he's like, um, I'm like, hey, he's like, I want to come back and my wife needs to come back. I'm like, great, let's talk about let's that. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. And then in February, I'm sitting in an audition and you hit me up on Facebook yeah. and Gary Griffin and on, I hit Gary. <laughs> on text. <laughs> and we're sitting next to each other. We're like, hey, this is a good idea. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> it was the easiest audition I've ever yeah. had in my entire life. Done. Yes. Yes. So great. thrilling. So, uh, Husband and wife playing husband and wife. Mm -hmm. How is that? I'm having a blast. First of all, I love working with her. I consider her to be probably the smartest actress actor I've ever worked with. <laughs> and uh, I yes, pay him I a mean lot that. To yes. say that. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It, it's it's such a rarity that we actually get to play anything on a stage we, together. We do, and it's and it's. We were talking on the first couple of days of rehearsal. We have two little girls. We have a seven-year-old and a four-year-old who are. Uh, ferociously all-consuming and they're mm -hmm. sensational but at the second day of rehearsal I looked at him I was like it's just so nice to be spending time with you <laughs> just you yeah and yeah. and, and we kind of you know we kind of feel that rehearsal has been a, a long date <laughs> and, truly, truly with songs and blocking yeah, yeah in blocking yes <laughs> yes and, we do, and it's so much of the homework is done by virtue of the fact that I trust no one more than I trust him mm -hmm. so we can we can create people who are obviously different from ourselves but I can feel yeah. totally safe with him on stage. Well, one of the, the fascinating things about the stage adaptation about Mary Poppins is the banks and their marriage is really kind of the primary thrust of the story. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It is, it is the, the, the driving force in the sense that, well, you tell me, where are the beginning of the show and what happens? Well, I mean, you, you discover a family that has been together for quite some time and they are pretty much at the end of their rope. They are struggling so severely in every single relationship. Being a parent, being a good husband, being a good, a good wife, even the children are having a problem of being children. And uh, so when you do meet this family, they are they're in dysfunctional. Trouble. Yes, there, yes. There's, there's an, a, a need to connect and an, an inability to do so. They can't, I mean, she's reaching for him. He's sort of reaching for archetypally what he thinks he should be as the provider of the family. Mm -hmm. Um, the kids are reaching, but nobody's connecting. And I think, um, I, and think, I, think it's a, I think it's a very universal uh, something that people will recognize. Yeah, uh, you just yeah. took the words right out of my mouth. I was just, I was just about the, to say that. A lot you, you of families see it and feel recognize that way. it. Yes. Yeah. And we've been. Uh, what happens is that we get the counselor of all counselors and shows <laughs> super up. Super nanny. A super nanny, and we don't even Arrives. realize that how much she's changing our lives in the direction that we needed to go. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought actually watching you on the platform yesterday. It was interesting, it struck me that what I love about what you've developed in, in, for our production is a real sense of the weight of the responsibility of parroting. Mm -hmm. And cute. that changes you as a person mm -hmm. and you're trying to respond to one and protect the other. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I've, I found that, I mean, I don't have kids, but I found it very, very moving to sort of watch that. Mm -hmm. um, so to a degree, you wanna talk about it. The other thing I found out since you've been here is you've had kind of a hard year. And so yeah. seeing yeah. you here together because you had an accident mm -hmm. and there was a challenge, but you're in great shape now. Great shape, yep. Yeah. And well, the beautiful thing that, that happened this year uh, was, again, a, a challenge that I think really tested our family. Well, it was, it was the biggest event uh, that we've ever gone through as a couple, as a family. And, you know, uh, me almost, well, I could have died. Um, he fell off the roof. He fell 20, 22 and, feet off the roof and, and shattered, shattered the femur. femur. So, but it was also something then, you know, the caregiving uh, that she provided. And I was the inability to be a husband, to be a father. You and, were a great husband. Well, you just got hurt. Yeah, I just got hurt. But, um, but a couple things happen. You have an opportunity in that kind of a chaotic moment to kind of seize your spirit and provide, which is what happened for me. I was literally like two days away from starting tech for Christmas Story on Broadway. Mm -hmm. 
and we had the two, our two little girls, who uh, one of whom actually saw the accident. So it was this huge traumatic event, which I kind of what I think again makes you or breaks you. And I right. think in a we our family kind of made us. And I it makes me teary just to um, you know I'm a crybaby. Yeah. I cry a lot, <laughs> but it makes me teary to think I he was back in performance. He uh, played Emil in South Pacific in Chicago three mm -hmm. months ago, and I'm watching it. And it's just I'm like that's my husband. Doesn't he sound fantastic? And then he started to waltz with Nelly, mm -hmm. and I lost it, because yeah. I thought, I don't know that I thought he would ever walk, much less dance right. on stage again. And you so, know what's so strange about, I mean, I, my main thought after I fell was I, I started apologizing to her that I wasn't going to be able to continue in Evita. I was two days away to going, uh, going into Evita on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh my gosh, there goes my paycheck. I, where's, I need to provide for the family. That was my biggest concern. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we have found ourselves stronger and uh, more committed than ever. Uh, we've been married nine years and uh, it doesn't seem like it's been more than one. So. Well, and the cool thing is, is that there's a, it, it informs entirely too when I'm singing a song being being about Mr. Banks, when I'm singing about how I'm gonna fight for him, how I'm gonna put everything I am into the resurrection of his spirit. There is an underbelly there already yeah. because it's something that, that strikes so close to home for me and is there there is only to tell the truth in that mm -hmm. moment because I've lived it with him. So it's really special to be able to, to do it.